that that fifth ward float was designed by Paul and Barbara Eckhart to represent the newly dedicated fifth ward square. And riding on the float were children who were residing in the fifth ward. And Paul and his wife Barbara were driving it. Now coming up is a float sponsored by the Vasco da Gama Society, named in honor of Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama. And um, they've part of the Portuguese American Society Club that's had a club here on Fenner Street known as Fenner Hall. Um, interestingly enough, today they've got the Mad Bavarian Brass Band, uh, which is making its debut in Newport. In Newport. And uh, can't get much better than that. You've got a German band and a Portuguese float playing Irish music. <laughs> right, the fire department coming up. Oh, East Greenwich. Yeah. East Greenwich fire department carrying the um, flag of Ireland proudly down the street. May friends stand by our side. May history remind us all of Ireland's faith and pride. May God bless us with happiness. May love and faith abide. There's something about the shamrock. There's a dear little plant that grows in our isle. Twas St. Patrick himself sure that sets it. And the son of his labor with pleasure did smile and with dew from his eyes often wet it. It grows through the bog, through the break, through the mireland, and they call it the dear little shamrock of Ireland. And we're certainly seeing a lot of shamrocks today. Yes, we have. Here's a good one. If you're lucky enough to be Irish, you're lucky enough. little uh, interesting bit of St. Patrick's Day Parade uh, trivia for Newport. Uh, city historian Patrick F. Murphy has documented a local St. Patrick's Day Parade as far back as 1863. Wow. <laughs> May your home always be too small to hold all your friends. And on the other hand, God is good, but never dance in a small boat. <laughs> as if no one were watching, sing as if no one were listening, and live every day as if it were your last. I think if I were singing and dancing, people would, oh, <laughs> would not want to be watching or listening. <laughs> a pipe band coming down the street. Find out some information about them.
Boston. Cran Terra Pipes and Drums is a competitive Highland Pipe Band based in the Boston area. The band participates in numerous competitions, parades, and other events throughout the northeastern United States. Cran Terra is the Gaelic phrase for the Fiery Cross, carried through the Highlands of Scotland to warn the clans of impending peril. The name is especially significant as most of the charter members for Cran Terra were pipers from local fire departments and the former St. Andrew's Ladies Pipe Band. And they have a website, cranterra.org, if you want to know more about them. Looks like we've got another float coming up. prepared for it here if it happens. Yeah. 
actors here. Looks like the pirates have come ashore. They got the Jolly Roger with them. <laughs> A vast matey. <laughs> oh, boy. fan in the distance. in Ireland, but apparently there are. And here in this parade, we have a fine representation of a group of pirates. And tell me your name, please. Doreen Cresimano. Where are you from, Doreen? Ansonia, Connecticut. And what is the name of this group? The Free Men of the Sea. Okay, and may I have your name, Mr. Pirate? <laughs> Chris Palmieri. You're from? I'm from Connecticut. And your names? Steve Barrett. Okay, tell me, does the, pi does the parade pass muster? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Great parade. Are you, uh, you're not sweating under all this stuff, are you, today? Not yet. <laughs> a, little, a little cold beer. Last year, last year we had the rain and the snow. It's very true. And a little cold beer will wash it all down, I'm sure, make you feel better. I like my beer warm. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. Take care. Yeah, coming up, uh, we've got the Cranston Police. I was just talking about uh, uh, cold beer who tastes good on a hot day like this, but it's, there are many good reasons for drinking. One has just entered my head. If a man doesn't drink when he's living, how the heck can he drink when he's dead? Excellent point. Always in moderation and have a designated driver. And I believe we have someone uh, dressed as uh, perhaps St. Patrick himself. He is definitely going to win the prize for being green today. walk the parade in stilts, let alone walk on their feet.
Guard from the West Warwick Fire Department. another Irish blessing. May your blessings outnumber the shamrocks that grow and may trouble avoid you wherever you go. Yep, it's not the end yet. I believe I see Elvis coming down the street. Oh, that looks like a SpongeBob SquarePants is with him. but I'll let you know they were Hannah Vieira, Johanna Lynch, Alex Martins, Michaela Burns, Morgan Sylvia, Morgan Sullivan, Emma Betts, Abby Russell, and Ain Lahan. And they were all on the fifth ward float that we saw by a little while ago. Okay, we're going to Nan's. 
Thanks again. Nice one, Dana. <laughs> you okay? Oh, all right. Here I am with a very horse, uh, Mr. Sullivan, who is the uh, parade organizer. Tell us what you think of this day and tell us how this all came together. It's a great day. I think the folks from Kinsale must have brought the weather with them because it's really nice weather, nice and sunny, good chairman. You know, he, le he left on a, the uh, Grand Marshal left on a snowstorm, so this is only fitting that he should be made Grand Marshal and he's on a nice sunny day today. It was amazing that he got that parade on on its way and really let had it happened in spite of all that snow. Sure, sure, sure. Really amazing. Good crowds, really nice receptive and a big parade. It looks like we got a pipe band coming up. So. All right, so I better let you go and it sounds like your voice is gonna hold out much longer anyway. Bye. Okay, I think that was the uh, Column Sims Pipe Bands of Cape God. We heard a little while ago. We got another pipe band coming down the road here. Let's see if we can make out. This is, well, we didn't miss them. Isn't that wonderful? This is the Column Sims Pipe Band of Cape Cod. I guess we're going to be seeing the world's biggest leprechaun coming down the street any moment now. Because his friends are right there. You know, you always keep your friends near you. I guess here he is, the biggest leprechaun there. Like more than one. <laughs> <laughs> I especially like the shoes. Oh, yes. Yeah, certainly the biggest leprechaun I've ever seen. I wonder if he's got his pot of gold with him. <laughs> like another uh, float of some sort coming here.
they are. Yes, they all are. All different colored tartans we've seen today. Blue and green and red. Firefighters, pipes, and drums. Looks like they were uh, established in 2001.
Special Services Union Fire District. Wow, we've had firemen from all over the state and beyond here today. We call it the Fireman's Parade. <laughs> We certainly do get a lot. We certainly do get a lot of uh, the local states participating in this. Longest uh, St. Patrick's Day parade I've seen. Good weather, everybody's taking their time. Here's a little poem for you called I'll Wear a Shamrock. St. Patrick's Day is with us, the day when all that's seen to right and left and everywhere is green, green, green. And Irish tunes they whistle and Irish songs they sing. Today each Irish lad walks out as proud as any king. I wear a four-leaf cloth shamrock in my coat the glad day through, for my father and my mother are Irish, and I am Irish too. For the first 25 years or so, the uh, parade was always held in the mid-afternoon. And uh, one of the uh, favorites for the, uh, the locals was the uniformed flight attendants from Aer Lingus, the Irish state airline, who marched in the parade. Looks like some uh, Civil War reenactors here. Yeah.
the new London Firefighters Pipe and Drum Pipe Band. And another police unit, this time from, um, looks like, East Providence. And we've got Nan on the street again. Okay, I finally snagged me a bagpiper here. This is Bob Bradley, and he's from Central Falls Fire Department. And Bob, uh, is this your first uh, Newport St. Patrick's Day parade? No, it's not. It's our third parade with the Rhode Island Firefighters Pipe Band. And how did you think it went? It's beautiful. The crowd was incredible. It was just, they had to be 10 or 15 deep once we got by the shops, and it's been a gorgeous day. You couldn't ask for a better day. It wasn't too long a trip for you, a parade? No, not at all. It was a lot of fun. We always have a great time when we come to Newport. Well, you are my favorite part of the parade. The bagpipes are always such a such a hit. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having us. We look forward to coming back next year. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, looks like it got some more fire engines coming down the road. <laughs> And the firemen are not walking, they're riding on the fire engines. That's what I'd like to do. It's like a classic fire engine, doesn't look like a modern one. It's like uh, 1936. And some reenactors behind them look like they're from the Confederacy. Guess they had to keep the North and the South apart. <laughs> Yeah, I still think some of those Southerners think they're still fighting the Civil War. <laughs> well, they're letting some little girl from the side ring the bell on that fire engine. <laughs> That's cute. Well, now somebody else wants a turn. Not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Fire Department. And we saw the north and now there's the south. is the Irish Air Corps Pipe Band. And they're the, as I understand it, they're the grand finale here on the parade. The Irish Air Corps Pipe Band was established in late 1993 in order to promote military music. The traditions of the Irish Air Corps and to add to the pomp and pageantry of Air Corps parades and ceremonies. They certainly are adding to this one. Come all the way from Dublin.
Fall River Fire Department. Yeah, and it looks like we're not at the end of the parade yet. Presented in a mini fire truck. Westport is here too. Police marching by us. And, uh, parade marshal signifies another segment of the parade. The more colonial reenactors. And they look like they're getting ready to <laughs> load their guns. Here we go again. Number setting up here. Another float coming. 
coming up. Can you see what that is? It's the uh, Viking Riders, Newport. Be sponsored by the Lions. Like some uh, soapbox derby cars. What do you call those cars? Soapbox derby ah, cars. Yes. Ah, make a wish foundation. Uh, Sarah is the girl in the Make a Wish Foundation car this year, and uh, she just uh, got granted her wish to go to Disney World in Florida. And so I guess her second wish was to be in this parade. It's a wonderful organization. And the American Red Cross is here. They've been very busy this last year with all the disasters around the country. Well, who's, who's going to say Why should I get that? Don't give it to me! <laughs> what do you want me to say? When did Cindy become back? <laughs> I'm all talked out. I'm not going to remember everybody here. Well, you can, I oh, know. I want to... I was that. calling a uh, phone name all morning. <laughs> <laughs> he was interested. Hell, Mary, full of grace. Say a prayer. Okay. Say a prayer for me. On behalf of... In focus volunteers you all a very happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> what? You said you work out in focus. TV. NCTV. <laughs> On behalf of the crew of NCTV, we wish you all a very pleasant, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Much better.